The heart space is an immense power. And and when we practice Kundalini Yoga, we're always trying to get inside that heart space. And so if you can think about it, if we keep people out of the heart space, then what? They're in their head space, which is a lot weaker than the heart space. So a lot of the competition with your crown chakra is about controlling that immense energy. And how many of you have ever crossed the border, either from one city to another city, or one country to another country, and the vibe completely changed? So you know how we have like um, a governor, which is in charge of a state. Then we have a mayor, which is in charge of a city. And then maybe your neighborhood has like a little faction in charge of that neighborhood. But it all kind of goes up like this. And then you have like a president that's in charge of the whole United States or parliament, prime minister, right? That same structure is in the celestial realms regarding Earth. So so an island like Mallorca has certain celestial beings attached to it to oversee it. It has like an angelic governor. And that's why when you just cross on the physical Earth, you cross a line that represents a border of an, uh, either a state or a country. You just cross the line and the whole vibration is completely different. And those are those celestial beings that are in charge of the energies and what's going on. And then they have other beings below them that help work on the energy of the space, of the the territory, if you will. And that's when like the whole fairy element comes into play. All the fairies work for one angel. And that angel works for a higher force. But whenever there's a big storm on the planet, those are all of, that's an energy of the planet that needs to be corrected. So all the celestial beings, they'll have meetings about it. They're like, okay, we have to have a hurricane. This is how it's going to work. And they meet like a board, like a United Nations, and they discuss and they negotiate certain things. That's why you feel the difference when you go from one area to the next. And with this Mary Magdalene frequency, which has been dormant for a very, very long time, it's now just now coming to the planet. It's resurfacing because the frequency of the planet can have the feminine divine feminine energy activated now. It had to go hiding for a very long time. And so Jesus was a yogi. He had power of the tetavas. That energy went into a male body, but an energy has polarity. It has feminine and masculine as an energy field. So Mary Magdalene is the feminine expression of that Christ consciousness. Christ, his intention was to leave the lineage inside Mary Magdalene. But because of the hostile environment, she had to go into hiding. But she very much traveled around and gave teachings with her brother. And then she went to go hiding in her cave. So what's unique about Mallorca, usually when you go to like a a city or a state, it has more of a masculine energy or it has more of a feminine energy. Mallorca, you feel a good combination of both. I really feel the feminine, the goddess energy, and I also feel the, the masculine energy. And the Knights of Templar would come, stop in Mallorca on their way, and they they would gather energy, the feminist goddess energy here, and then they would go. The Knights of Templar were very much a protecting energy field of the heart space of Mary Magdalene, the heart energy of immense love. They were protecting that. And still today, those teachings are very much hidden. The real esoteric Christ consciousness teachings are still very hidden, and they're secret orders that are very active today to protect that lineage. So you, want to work on protecting your own heart space. So in addition to having a heart space, you also have to be very protecting of it, right? You have to have that protective fire activated in you. You have to be both. You have to be in the heart, and you also have to be a warrior, have the warrior strength that you get through Kundalini Yoga. And so like you, this lineage is inside your heart. You're expressing it, and then you're also protecting it and preserving it for the future. And that's what we're coming here to Mallorca to do, to, to get that energy, that protective energy that we, we need, we 100% need it. And when, you, when the diaphragm's off, or if you're very emotional or angry, 
that that's anger and fear block the heart center. It blocks that immense energy. And it has the energy they say in the, the yogic scriptures of 108 suns. It's a trillion times more powerful than the head. And aren't we constantly in our head? Yes. What happens when we go into the heart? Everything. We're very vast. We're very beautiful beings. So there's always a competition with these, you know, other energies that we don't know about to control this crown chakra to keep you out of the space, which is very powerful. Because if you had a planet walking around with everybody in their heart space, like this wouldn't be the same planet that we know today. It'd be very, very different if everybody was in this heart. So that's what you want to work on. And whenever you have like a diet, like if you ever feel just kind of heavy in the slower lungs or just kind of like like an energetic heaviness, you want to open up with prana. You want to open that up because when the diaphragm's off, everything's just kind of off in the system. The energy can't move properly. And so anytime you have a trauma that happens in your life, if it's a car accident, if it's some kind of abuse you face, emotional, physical, whatever it is, we, the body reacts, the physical body reacts to trauma. So the beautiful part of this is you can heal that. You can rebuild those traumas because the body, like incoming, the body is going to react, right? Like, oh, but I have to be able to, to, to move my neuron patterns out of that and back into a higher pattern. And so if you have trauma after trauma after trauma or even one trauma, traumatic thing, the body forms a pattern of trying to protect itself, but that pattern isn't, it's limiting, right? Have you ever seen people that walk around like this? What are they doing? They're protecting the heart center because, because something hurt them along the way. But then they're like, oh, I'm doing spinal flex and I'm breathing deep and I'm chanting sud on the inhale and nam on the exhale. And I don't have to think about my traumas. I'm not thinking about them. But the mantra is going in and the movement of the Kriya, which is the complete action, is going into the system and it's reconfiguring the pattern in my body. And I don't even have to know about it. And then all of a sudden, I'm walking taller. I'm more radiant. I'm braver. And I don't even have to know why. So in this system, we don't have to go back and analyze any traumas that happen. Some people like to do that because forever, whatever reason. But we're conditioned to go back and analyze everything and to talk about it. And when I talk about you know me being hit by a car, what does that do? It just amplifies it in my own system. I have to relive that experience over and over and over again. Why would I want to put my body through that? I don't. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do my spinal flex. I'm going to do a Kriya instead and put a higher frequency through. So that's what you want to focus on. You want to focus on keeping this heart space, the diaphragm area, the lungs, really clear, really clean and keep the energy moving. If you feel upset or emotional, go into the heart space and start to develop a relationship with the immense power of the heart space. Have you ever talked to a high frequency being and they just looked at you and you just felt immense love? That's a heart to heart transfer. You get that through a lineage. Christ's consciousness is all about heart, the heart space immense love. So the Knights of Templar, they, they got very, very powerful. They're protecting for centuries the lineage of this heart space. They were the protectors of it. And then they got too powerful and King Philip owed them a lot of money because the Knights of Templar, the modern banking system we have today, they started it. So they controlled the money. And do you think the King of France liked that? No. So, so he staged a coup on Friday the 13th, a ritual day. He disbanded across the whole, you know, sector, all of the people of power of Knights of Templar because the protectors got too powerful and the king and the, you know, the church didn't like it. So, so what happened? They, dis they, they discredited them and then they went underground. Right? Jesus gets too powerful, Mary Magdalene gets too powerful. What do they do? They discredit them and then they go underground. 
That's a big pattern. And we see it today. Energy Kundalini Yoga gets too powerful. Let's discredit it. And the real power is going to remain hidden for those who can find it. And you are all those who can find it. But now it goes even further and it's your hidden power, your energy field, your love that needs to come out. And then you have to protect it. So in addition to living in this wide, beautiful heart space, you also got to be very strong and protect it too. Because then you're going to go into a supermarket, your aura is going to cross somebody who's just having the worst day of their life. And your vibration, you're not going to even say a word, but your vibration of this wide heart space, they're going to cross it and you know, you're going to help them. And maybe their life will be changed forever. And then crossing paths with you, maybe in a different life, they're going to have the immense privilege to practice. So start holding yourself in that type of space, that type of caliber. And just know that you're very, very special and you want to grow this and you want to grow your own heart.